All right, Cuddy. Today is going to be a little different. Today we're going to talk about NFTs. Got a lot of buddies of mine, man, on the game, you know, on the streets. Uh, that they, they asked me, uh, man, how, how, you, how you do them NFTs? How you getting money on them NFTs? Like, how you know it's not a scam and stuff like that? Well, I'm, t- I'm here to tell you that <laughs> keep watching and I'll explain it all to you. A couple of my NFTs And this this is the only place I've ever bought NFTs And that's on Crypto.com It's very user friendly Very, you know, pretty straightforward Not a problem Uh, As you can see right here I bought these whales It wasn't my first project. This was actually my first project right here. I thought it was going to do some. It was 87 minted. You know, it's 87 of them in the world minted. But it's got to be a high demand for these NFTs. And that's the point I want you to get. Is that not all the NFTs are going to even be worth something. Let's take a look at some of the projects that I was in that actually paid, right? So, we can go right here. And clearly see, just on April 22nd, I sold a mad hair for, actually it was $8,500, but the creator of the digital art gets to keep like royalties. So that's another thing that lets me know that these don't actually belong to me. Now, don't get me wrong. The picture I did pay for, but the artwork actually still belongs to the person who created it because they will receive royalties from here on out from i mean i don't care who trades it i won't receive royalties after i bought it once i sell it they got it it's over with but none the least i made a grand off this one picture right okay now you're wondering how much did you pay for that picture cutty it's <laughs> a good question check it out I'll show you exactly what I paid for that picture. Let's find, uh, let's see if we can go to offers. Let's see. Nah, them offers received. Okay, $8,500, you can see he paid $8,500. We go to his list, find that, find that exact mad hair, right? Let's find it. Oh, here it is. $8,500. Let's look at the history of it. He bought it 11 days ago from Crypto Cuddy. Crypto Cuddy was airdropped this for free. I got airdropped this mad hair picture for free. Not only did I get it for free, it made an 8,500% return on my investment. I didn't invest in the mad hairs. I actually tried, but the line was so long on the drop date. I was like 16,000 and they were all sold out. So there was nothing I could do. Which led me to actually sell it all of my NFTs because I was pissed at that point. I was like, man, I just don't understand. But let's take a look. He's been up here accepting offers since he bought it on the 11th. Now, if you can pay attention, his offers, it's almost like a no-brainer. He bought it high from me, so I must have got the most I could have got from it. I mean, I believe because seven days later, not one person has offered him a dollar. None to say that he might not even want to sell it. I mean, he, he might love collecting profile pictures, you know, nice pretty pictures to go right in front of your Twitter emblem. Beautiful. I'm talking about, man. To have one that cost you $8,500 sets you apart from anyone in the space. <laughs> Trust me. Now, moving back to the, the point of why we did the NFTs and how we got this, this edition right here. Now, you see these two right here? This is a Molly and a Psycho Kitty. I bought these around... Well, I bought this one around December. I bought a few of them, actually. I bought this one. I bought this one. Well, it's a couple of them. And they airdropped me a free Molly for holding 
my psycho kitties, right? So I'm just giving you a roundabout. That was the utility in the psycho kitty, so to speak. If you hold it, you'll get a free, you'll get a free model, right? Okay, cool. So I held on to it. It didn't cost me anything but $150, might I add, each picture. So that's pretty high for a profile picture. I mean, seeing that I could just go snap a shot of it and put it up myself, right? Regardless, I've been buying a few of these, right? So I bought Alpha Bots. I actually still own an Alpha Bot, but those cost me $200. These kitties cost me $150 a piece. Along with the $150, I held on to them for, say, about a month and a half till they came up with another project airdrop. And for the holders, for the day one holders, everyone that was holding a Psycho Kitty got dropped in Psycho Molly. So if you were holding 10 Psycho Kitties, you got dropped 10 Psycho Mollies. It was a beautiful thing. Now, the unique thing about the Psycho Kitty, I mean, the Psycho Molly was, was that it was a free airdrop. Not only was it free, it was, I sold it. It was a demand for it. So built up around the projects, I want to just clear, make this clear that the profile picture is part of the NFTs. Now, an NFT is simply just metadata. It's just simply a metadata. It's non-fungible token. So one of one cannot be created. It's locked in the blockchain. After it's done, it's sealed. It cannot be unblocked. You see what I'm saying? So when I get ready to sell it, it carries the data in which, how I obtained it. So it's totally transparent. That, that's another thing. The, the blockchain is totally transparent. Like, it's not like money, where <laughs> money can lie. You know, the person with the money can lie to you. Uh, I bought this uh, lawnmower for $600, when he really got it for $150. But you wouldn't know that unless you knew how to read the blockchain. So if it's not an NFT, it's not 100% transparent. It's not really giving you the factual information. Look at the Carfax for that, for that matter. You're reading the Carfax, it's telling you, you know, pretty much what happened to the car. But is that the truth? Is that something we can really tangibly say that, hey, this really happened, the service was done here, it cost this much. This person paid for it and hadn't had any other accidents since then. That would make your car buying purchases a lot better. A lot better, right? So look at it on the NFT perspective. Right now, it's just profile picture. But in the future, the near future, I mean, maybe a year or later, like I think I heard of something about... Uh, some airfare uh, airline tickets doing NFTs for their uh, air for their uh, passenger seats. So I'll, I'll try to find that article and post it up here. But uh, yeah, NFTs are everything in the world is going to be tokenized. Your car, your clothes, your homes, any item that you have in your computer, it will be a tokenized item on the blockchain, wrote in. So that's why it's important to. <laughs> The things that are not on the blockchain will be considered rare, right? Because you, you won't actually have any record beside what the person tells you, right? So you can come up with any type of story. You know, it came from Jesus, you know, the Holy Temple or whatever, regardless of that. But the fact that the blockchain tells the truth, it's no way for me to lie to you about what I did. I sold this one. This is the amount I received. I really sold it for of course, you can see eight thousand eighty-five hundred. 8,500. I sold this one for 950. I sold this one for 450. I sold this one for 300 and I think it was like $330. This was on the launch day. So all in all, I made about 10 grand in one project. And that's just between these three right here. Cause remember 8,500 plus I sold this one for 950. That's uh, 9,500 pretty much. Uh, and then I sold this one for 430. So we're talking about 9,900. $9,900 I made off one project. And I only invested 300 bucks. So is it a profit margin there? Absolutely. Is it a way to make money in NFTs? Absolutely. Are there these silly profile pictures right now? Absolutely. 
I mean, it's just we're on the brink of tech. We're on the brink of this uh, <laughs> revolution, uh, revolutionary technology that's coming through. And if I could tell you, I would always bet with the technology. I would never bet with old, outdated legacy systems because they're manipulated. And I'm not to say that these are not going to be manipulated. But what I am saying is that it's less manipulation in the unregulated environment. Okay. So now leading me to my next thing. I probably won't be collecting these NFTs for a while to come because the SEC has just started a brand new task force to go after your crypto NFTs, which are pretty much basically securities. I mean, look at it. <laughs> any, any, anytime I could post a picture on the wall that I sold for $8,500 and didn't go through an intermediary? Ah, oh, trust me. <laughs> they want a piece of that and they come in to shut it down and regulate it and reopen it back up the way they see fit. It's a lot of rug pulls out here. 99% of these projects are rug pulls. Don't get me wrong, I mean, and most of them are just young individuals, just like, you know, creating coins and not really having any utility. These things have no utility right now. I mean, they saying IP rights, they saying video games coming, and that's the reason why I'm, I'm holding on to my Alphabot. Holding on to this Alphabot got me this weapon for free. It was airdropped to me. How much did the Alphabot cost me? It actually didn't cost me nothing because I bought it in a strategic way, but I paid $200 for it. But as you can see, clearly, <laughs> I had two more that I sold. One had uh, ETH eyes and the other one was just regular. So out of that whole total purchase, I spent $600 on the three alpha bots. And I'm looks like right here, I'm in the project. I sold it for more, but that was my payout because of the royalties. But as you can see right here, <laughs> I'm in a project pretty much for free. So now I'm just holding, I'm just holding this and i'm building out a bot i'm building out a robot that has a weapon you see what i'm saying that has armor that has a shield that has other different gadgets whatever they feel like they want to come out with for this play to earn game and that's what i'm holding on for for the play to earn game so i'm willing to risk these nfts to get taken by the sec because of the regulations that are coming and you know if nothing comes of it nothing comes of it i'm still up 10x or <laughs> I take that back. I take that back. I'm still up 9,000% on my initial investment. I, I mean, throughout all of these, these cost me 50. This cost me like 75. This was airdropped to me for free, just out of the blue. So, and I will be doing giveaways because technically I'm not going to be on this platform anymore. I'm moving to the XRPL, the ledger. That's where the most trusted, the most trusted, projects are going to be at. I mean, that that system is going to, you know, kill everything. So, I mean, this show is pretty, you know, I'm just going to give you, I'm going to give you, give you the info straight. NFTs are a risk. NFTs are a gamble. But can NFTs change your life? Just like gambling. Yes, it can. Regulations are on the way. And I probably won't be doing nothing in this space, technically. You know what I mean? Because, like I said, these, 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 this wall art right here is pretty much all it's gonna be. It's just wall art. I'm gonna be looking at it like I'll show you pictures. I got it in, all through my house. I got them all through my house. And why not hang up artwork that paid me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got paid. I'm up $10,000 in these projects. That means I have a ton of capital to allocate towards other NFT projects or even crypto. Because, you know, I am moving away from the fiat dollar. But that is another story. So without further ado, well, why, why did I say further ado? Like I'm about to bring out something else. I think I told you everything. I told you uh, the reason why I, I think NFTs are a risk. I told you uh, how profitable I am. I told you how much they cost me. Oh, what I didn't tell you about is, is that these projects, to find the really good one, you're going to need to do what they call uh, 
Discord. So in the Discord, which I'll show you right now, it's loading up. In the Discord is where most of these projects, you know, have fun. You know, they do, they, they, they talk their they talk their business, they, you know, give votes. They got other type of little stuff like like I could vote right now for a story, right? For our alpha bots, where they're going to be going, right? So we, we could fight with the shepherd or we could take a hard drive. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> it's fun and I haven't bet. So let's bet. Analyze the hard drives and wait for the fight. Yeah, let's analyze the hard drives. Let's get the intel first before we do anything. All right, but anyways, moving down, uh, you go to general chat and this is that. I'm actually an entertainer. I'm one of the entertainers. Let's see. I got this guy blocked. Yeah, he's a weirdo. He was in my he was in my inbox trying to buy my alpha buy for seven hundred. I didn't want to sell it. I would have sold it for seven hundred had he paid. He, he, he wanted to lowball me to six hundred. So I forget that weirdo. But anyways, I just want to show you that to find these good projects, you really have to have a lot of hype around. So you see the total numbers. This is not really a hype project. And, you know, it's not that really, it's not really that many people looking to acquire alpha bots. You see what I'm saying? So this might end up being a worthless project for me. But, hey, I'm in the project for free again. Strategically, buying these uh, profile picks, these NFTs, so to speak, you have to get rid of them, especially if they have no utility. You have to get rid of them before launch date is over. Sometimes th before three days is into the project or it's becoming worthless. Let's take a look at the alpha bot floor. Just, you know, why not? Let's just take a look at it just to see where the alpha bot is in the game. So right now, an alpha bot. $250. They've been out for three weeks or longer than that. I'm sorry, two months. And the floor went from, I want to say, 500. It went on launch day, it was 500. And today, as you can see, it's $250. But they traded 6 million, almost 7 million in value traded throughout these collectibles. And I mean, it's some nice work. It's some nice art. I'm not, I'm not saying it's not nice art. What I'm saying is, is, is it worth the money? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. I don't think it's worth, I don't think it's worth what they sell them for because it doesn't provide a use case. It doesn't solve a real world problem. Nobody's out here looking for PFPs to put in front of their profile pictures so they can look like ballers. Nobody's doing it. And if you are, then uh, you might want to consider your priorities because I'm going to take the money and run. Just like I did. Um, so yeah. Floor price for the bot is $250. Now let's just, let's look at the weapon. Let's go see what the floor price for the weapon is. $40. Now, in my opinion, is this a good project to be a part of? One would say no. One would say no, but we haven't finished reading the book yet. So I may never judge without, you know, actually doing a deep dive and seeing what it's all about. We have another airdrop coming in a few days, you know, maybe a month. Next month, we'll have a new airdrop coming and might get lucky and get one. They have had some sold for 10,000, 1,000, you know, they've been selling. They got some legendary qualities. It's just that. The, the profile picture part of this whole NFT gimmick is just an entry level profile. Decent wallet. Okay. It's just an entry level. It's just entry level technology. It's showing you how you can move assets on the blockchain and how they function and how they carry the metadata around with them for eternity. Can't be unblocked. You have to destroy the whole internet. This is this is, this is technology. They got computers. For, they got computers out there talking to themselves, and they're writing their own codes. That's dangerous. You see what I'm saying? So 
technology is evolving. So without, you know, I, I can't say it anymore that I would not mess with NFTs until regulation comes down because old Gary Gensler is on the case. And I would not, personally, I would not invest in the picture NFTs unless it's major hype built around it, major hype. And until they actually come with great utility and use case. I mean, you, the NFT scene is dead for me. I've dabbled and I've dabbled. I made a few dollars. I didn't lose, thank God. And, you know, I get to share a story with you. I get to show you how this new economy, this new in industry is going gonna, is, is gonna to benefit all of us. And I'm early, I'm early to the party. And I suggest all of you get on the program. Cryptocurrency is the future. NFTs, everything you own will be tokenized on the blockchain. And I say there is absolutely nothing in your life that won't be tokenized in the future. So I hope you enjoyed this video, man. I'm just trying to shed some light on, you know, the projects and, you know, not all of them are scams. They all, you know, some of them, they do have some play to earn games out there with NFTs where you can wear them, going to casino, earn money daily, leave out, rent the NFT out. It's a lot of different things that you can do, you know, once they have utility. Until then, huh, it's just a pretty picture.